Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. You can edit relationship links between tasks within your project file to allow for lag time or lead time between tasks. For example, you could allow a day of lag time to pass between tasks. Alternately, you could also allow for lead time, where you begin working on a second task before completing all of the work on the first task. You can edit the duration that is shown in the predecessors column within the Gantt chart view of your project file to enter a lead time or a lag time. To add a lead time, you would enter the precedent task reference, followed by the abbreviation for the type of link that they share, and then enter the value as a negative value to the precedent task reference. So for example, assume that you have linked tasks 2 and 3 in your project file with a finish to start task relationship. In the predecessors column for task 3, you could enter 2FS minus 2D, which would give you a two-day lead time on the task. You can enter either a specific value, or you can enter the value as a percentage of the task. For example, entering 2 minus 50% for task 3 would give you a 50% lead time based on the duration of task 2. Now, if you wish to enter a lag time, then enter the precedent task reference, followed by the abbreviation for the type of length that they share, and then enter that value as a positive value. So, for example, assuming that you have linked task 2 and 3 in your project file with a finish to start task relationship, if you enter a value of 2FS plus 1D, into the predecessors column for task 3. You would add one day of lag time to the completion of task 2 prior to starting task 3. Now just as with lead time, lag time can be entered as either a positive amount or a percentage. Note that you can enter the lag time and lead time within the task information dialog box on the predecessors tab in the lag column. Now in this case, you would simply enter the amount to increase or decrease into the field that's available. Entering a positive value is considered adding lag time, and entering a negative value is considered entering lead time. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.